Okay, um, welcome to a tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a DVD file with DVD Molder. Um, this is a common problem with a lot of people that don't or um, that are new to ISOs and burning and all that. Well, sometimes uh, downloads you extract them and they don't come with the DVD file and um, I remember when I first started burning games I was like what the hell do I do I don't know how to do this and uh, I'm here to show you how to do that it's really simple really easy and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now um, what you're going to need is DVD molder I prefer to get the latest version out um, I'm going to go ahead and open that right now Since I'm a Windows Vista user, I'm going to be uh, running that as an administrator. Now, when you have your ISO to the desktop or wherever you are, you're keep it, I would preferably keep it in a folder, safe, just the ISO or folder alone. And then when you want to make the DVD file, put it in that same folder as well. Um, I currently don't have an ISO on my computer right now, except in my drive. Uh, my disk drive so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load that up and I'm going to show you how to make a DVD file from it but we'll just be pretending that it's actually on the computer so view ISO details click next now since if you have it on the computer you're not going to be doing it like me you want to load ISO folder and basically what you want to do is just load the whole entire ISO so just browse for your ISO wherever it's at and then load it up and then it'll do some checking and let's see right here I'm about to load mine right now load mine from DVD-R load disk but just pretend that you're loading the ISO folder okay and then click next do some check summing Okay, then you're inside right now, and then you can see all the details from the ISO and everything, but we're not worried about that right now. When you want to create a DVD file, you go to the other tab at the bottom. Then you go to make DVD file. Now, since I don't have the folder or anything, I'm just going to say I'm saving it to the desktop, and we're just going to name this as whatever the ISO is. Um, it should already name it whatever the ISO is, but I'm just going to put like archive2.iso or just farchi2, I don't really care. Just save. Okay, click next and just cancel out all of that. And there's your DVD file right there. Alright, there. DVD ROM and drive. That's what the name of it was, but it'll actually name it as the DVD that you, or the ISO that you have inside. And that's it. As soon as you do that, just uh, load the DVD file, and that's that. Um, if you don't really want to use a DVD file, why don't you just use Xbox Backup Creator? Because it already detects all that. And uh, you just you load the ISO, and then click Burn, and it'll it'll automatically detect all those details and the settings for it and it'll just burn it for you so you don't have to make a DVD file but that's that right there and thank you for watching the tutorial hope you enjoyed